What's up guys, today we're gonna check out some simple performance upgrades for the Traxxas TRX4. Now the TRX4s have become very popular since their release. They offer a lot mechanically with the two speed, locking differentials, cruise control, and more. Plus you have these two different body styles at the time of the filming this video with the Defender and then the tactical unit. They're really cool trucks. Now they come with one slight disadvantage though, and that is the trucks are kind of heavy up high. Now with a crawler, you want most of the weight down low with the idea that if the truck is gonna get sideways or the vehicle, it's not gonna tip over as easily. Now, the issue with a lot of that weight being up high with our TRX4 models is that they will tip over a little bit easier and with a lot of the weight being also in the back with our spare tire and our extra accessories, they tend to be a little bit uh, rear heavy as well. So the upgrades in this video are going to be based around the idea of weight, how to eliminate it up high, and how to get more down low. Now the first upgrade we're gonna talk about is going to be the battery. Now most people, when they think of rigs like this, they think, well, let's use a big stick pack. It has a lot of milliamps, and it'll provide a really long runtime. That is true. More milliamps, more runtime, and in crawlers, that can be in the hours. But you don't have to run a battery like this. Having that kind of up high right in the center, that's a lot of weight right up there. Instead, you have the option of using these Traxxas mini lipos. These are the lipo batteries that Traxxas designed for their 1 16th scale um, mini vehicles. Traxxas offer these batteries in two different types. This is the three cell, it's 1400 milliamps. And then there's also a 2200 milliamp two cell. Both of these fit really, really good in the recessed area of this battery compartment. So essentially the battery goes right in the battery compartment and just drops down in that little pocket. It fits perfectly. You'll need to add a little bit of foam on the top so our battery door securely holds the battery in there. But basically this recessed pocket is going to put the battery at its absolute lowest position within the rig. And this battery is also not as heavy as that big stick pack, which is going to make a difference of eliminating weight up high and getting this lower weight as low as possible. Another battery option is this ProTec crawler pack. This is a three cell and it's 3,600 milliamps. So you still get quite a bit of juice, but it's in this very small form factor. It's almost the size as a shorty two cell, but it is a little bit thinner. But the nice thing about this battery is it fits in the compartment. It does not fit in that little recessed area with that mini lipo, but instead you have a lot of space here in this battery compartment to move your battery forward or back to adjust the weight as you see needed. And then you can add some foam spacers to take in that extra space to secure the battery. And a smaller battery like this is still gonna be lighter than a full stick pack. Our next upgrade for the TRX4 is not to remove weight, but instead we're gonna add weight to the very low points on the axle. STRC and Samix are two companies who are making some really nice looking brass upgrades for the TRX4. We have portal covers that go on the axles, there's C-hubs, there's hub carriers, there's shock link mounts, there are spring perches. There are tons of different upgrades to add weight to the TRX4 and all of these pieces go on the axle at the very lowest point of the vehicle, which is a huge bonus for performance. Doing the math, if you add up the Samix brass steering knuckles, C-hubs, portal covers, and link mounts, that right there is 12 ounces. That's three quarters of a pound you're adding to the TRX4 down low, and that's really gonna help offset the weight up high. And another big advantage of having these brass pieces is that most of them go on the front of the truck, and that's gonna also help offset the additional weight on the rear of the body. Speaking of bodies, do you know what these things weigh? Out of the box, this Defender body is 860 grams. That's 1.9 pounds. The tactical body is 594, which is about 1.3 pounds. Now to give you a little perspective on body weight, I grabbed this scale body that belongs to an SCX-102. Now this body was created by Matt, one of our employees here who makes some really awesome scale trucks. Now this particular body is a Lexan uh, Wrangler, I believe, it's four door. So uh, Matt has added tons of stuff to this body. We've got working lights and it looks like there's a radiator in there. This is a, 
a night custom grill, we have our light bar, light pods, we, he added a roof rack that is stuffed to the gills, as well as more little accessories here on the back, more running lights, we flip it over, look inside, there's also a light controller in there. Uh, this body has a lot of stuff on it, tons and tons of stuff. The weight, 818 grams, it's still lighter than the Defender body. So with that said, our really easy, simple performance upgrade for the TRX4 is to do something with the body. Perhaps if you're comfortable to remove some of the accessories and the extra weight on the back of the body, or perhaps even get a new body altogether, something that weighs significantly less. And if changing the body is really an option for you, thanks to these Incision stainless steel link kits, you can do it fairly easily. Incision has created a stainless steel link kit that includes all the links you need to put the truck in a 313 millimeter wheelbase, which is a very standard wheelbase for 110 crawlers of this class. And that opens up the possibility of being able to use any crawler bodies that are the 313 wheelbase. It's super nice to convert your truck to that more standard size. And since these are stainless steel, they are heavier than the included aluminum links on the bottom of the truck. So that's gonna add a more weight to the undercarriage of the truck, which is always a performance boost. Now there's also an incision stainless steel link kit for the stock wheelbase if you just wanna leave that where it is. The last simple upgrade we have is adding more weight. This time we're talking about adding weight inside of the wheels. Now the included wheels on the TRX4 unfortunately are not bead locks, they're glued to the tire, so you will need new tires and wheels to add weight. Now if you get bead locks often like these Vanquish, there's a ring in the center and you can add sticky weight on that ring going all the way around, adding a lot of extra weight to each individual wheel, adding a lot of weight overall. Now these just happen to be Vanquish beadlock wheels. These are very versatile wheels. They're metal, so they'll last a very long time and they're a terrific investment in the long run. Now they have a few advantages. They use the SLW hub. Beef Tubes is a company that makes more brass weight for crawlers and we've got a beef tube weight bolted up to this SLW hub here on this wheel. Now this is another big advantage to having this type of wheel. You can add even more weight inside to the hub as well as going along the inside of the ring. And if that wasn't good enough, another advantage to having the SLW hubs is they're adjustable. You can buy them in different lengths to offset your wheel basically from the axle. Now when you add that extra width to your wheel, you're pushing out the tires further away from the axle and it's actually adding stability to truck, especially when you're side hilling or you're getting sideways, that extra width is just gonna help it stabilize and stay tire side to the ground. And they look pretty darn good too. Even though this video was about performance upgrades, these wheels sure look nice. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments on any of the things we talked about in this video, go ahead and leave us a question down below. If you want more info on any of these parts as well, we'll put links in the description box to shoot straight over to the A-Main Hobbies website. My name is Brett and thanks for watching.